Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be doing a makeup of voiceover. But first up, here is a couple of slow motion clips, really close up of my face. Uh, hopefully you enjoy these. Uh, this is the look that I did today. I call this one the make will late to everything look. So yeah, we're going to get straight into this. The first thing I do is I just uh, take this moisturizer. It's also self tanning lotion. In case you guys were wondering where I get my flawless tan from, I'm just going to rub this all over my forehead and my cheeks and whatever else. And yep, there we go. We're done. Now we're going to take this really white Laura. And we're going to put that on our face as well. It's not actually white. It's green. Uh, who knew? Just the same color as my hair. That's blue, by the way. So yeah, we're going to smear this in as per. We do this all the time. Uh, my boyfriend still doesn't know what it does. This is our concealer. So we're going to go ahead and conceal all of our dark areas under our eyes. I am going to try and do this video somewhat professional at the same time as somewhat jokey. So hopefully you guys do enjoy the fact that I do know my stuff about makeup. And there we go. That reminded me of Will. No comment on that. Uh, moving on. Um, we're going to put a little bit on our nose. And then we're going to blend it in with this nice fat brush right here you can get this from any good art supply store i don't know if you guys want to go down to the local like craft store and pick up one of these then we're going to go straight to the eyebrows there we go one two three four five six seven eight strokes and that's good enough that's all we need just one eyebrow then we're going to pick this color which i've obviously worn through and get our watercolor brush which we actually got from a local art supply store oh now we're going to do the second eyebrow totally forgot that i did that but here we go this side to get a flawless brow you just want to basically brush the opposite way that your hair goes and we have this actual eyebrow coloring glass bottle thing. And we're just going to line our eyebrows with that. That is absolutely fantastic. They are on fleek, as you might have said back in 2015. Now I'm going to just smudge it with my finger, which is actually against the rules. When Will tries to touch my face, I, I get mad at him for doing that. Now we're just going to line it with a little bit of foundation to touch up the edges and make them look extra sharp, almost like a razor blade. There we go, get that looking good. Very, very nice, very even, although I didn't look satisfied with how it looked. Oh, now I do, there we go. Nice little eyebrow wiggles. Now what are we doing? Oh god, I can't remember what I was doing right here. Um, Brushing our eyelids. There we go, and patting our eyelids, patting some more. Wiping what we got on our hands. Johnson's baby powder. This is the part that I actually know. So we're going to take the talc and we're just going to apply that as a, uh, a setting powder for our base layer. And then we can actually work on top of that with our different colors for our eyes. Whatever we call those. Eyeshadow. That's the one. And we're going to take this Morphe palette. I believe it's the 32,365th C or something like that. I don't know. And we're going to go with a nice orange shade. And we're just, uh, just going to work that in. Blend it really nicely. There we go. Bring it up to the edge of your eyebrow so it doesn't actually uh, seep over past it. You don't want any of that. You want it to be nice and nice and lined up. There we go. I just smiled at Will. Just noticed that. Let's go and line the bottom of our eyes. Make ourselves look tired, although we concealed that in the first place. Actually, no, it's just a smoky look. Just kidding, guys. I don't want to get in trouble for saying she looks tired. Um, and we're going to put some cat whiskers on with this foundation. Blend that in as well with the big old art brush, which we previously used to do something else that I don't remember what we did with it. Other cheek. Now our nose. And apparently we put it on our ears and underneath our chin, too. Uh, I don't know why we put it on our ears, but apparently it helps with sound quality of life or something like that. We're going to just blush our cheeks a little bit. There you go, looking like a embarrassed anime character almost. Blend that in so we don't look so embarrassed. There we go, we're just looking nice. We've got some nice definition to our cheeks now. They almost match the color of our lips. Let's check that in the camera for a good 15 seconds. And moving on to our contour. So we're just going to blend this in, make our cheeks look nice and defined. Get that nice shadow under there. And uh, we're just going to... We just look beautiful at this point. I would honestly say that we're finished right now, but we're going to keep going. Uh, here we go. The talc pot that's overexposed once again. Now we're going to just set the rest of our face because who can afford setting powder these days? Absolutely nobody. Now we're looking a bit like a clown, but we don't want to actually say that because there might be people with clown phobias in the comment section. Uh, displeased with myself just then. Let's get a nice zoom in of what we're doing so you guys can extra see. Now back to the blush. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Ah, Dare to Create, the 39A palette from Morphe. This is my favorite one. We took a color, don't remember which because it went away so quickly. Uh, blending that in, blending that in. 
Now, a different brush, apparently. Ah, we're gonna contour our nose now. She has a very nice nose anyway. I don't know why she needs to do that. But yeah, moving on. We're now gonna wipe off the excess foundation and stuff that got on our lips. We wiped our lips to move on to mascara. Not entirely sure why that happened, but hey, gotta have clean lips. Mascara, mascara. May oh, sneeze. Oh, God, there we go. Displeased with myself. Actually have to redo my mascara one sec. Let's fix that. Cool. Fixed, and there we go. Tuck our hair behind our ears. Oh, no, we didn't want to do that. Now it's back, and we look displeased. Why do we look displeased? What's gone wrong? <gasps> Eyes are watering. Uh-oh. That's bad. Oh, dab, 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 dab. Cool. Now, so many different tools that are doing different things that I don't understand. Uh, what are we doing here? Look nice and closely into the camera. Ah, eyelashes. We didn't actually show you applying the glue. There is actually glue on these lashes. Um, now we're just gonna pause for a second. I guess we have to wait for that to dry for a sec. Oh, there we go. Yes, we were waiting for it to dry for a second. And now we're gonna go with the application. Three blows on it is the the recommended amount. And there we go. Is that stuck nicely? Oh, very beautiful side profile there. Just wanted to show that off to you guys. And we are just gonna apply some mascara to our bottom lashes. We might have been applying mascara. I don't know. She also has one of those mascara brushes to just... Even out her lashes, unless she uses it like a comb, I guess. Oh, oh no. What was that? Was that an eye bogey? God, what is this? Is this brush broken or something? Nope. Moving on to the second one. Now we're going to place that right there. Oh yes, these lashes are perfect. Very, very nice. Make sure those are set nicely, very even. Oh, pinch the sides just to make sure that it's properly stuck. Mess with our hair again. And are we almost done? Ah, lipstick, of course, the Jeffree Star. What have we got here? Can we see? We can't see. Nope, I, b I believe it's... I don't know what it is. I was going to pretend like I know. I normally know the names of them, but I do not know this one. Um, moving on, we're just going to line it with a little bit of foundation, make sure we have a nice lip line. Are we going to do two colors on the lip? I don't know. We might be doing two colors on the lip. Are we? No. Yes, I believe we are. I think we're actually lining our lips with... A different color right now to add some definition to our to our lip shade. Oh, something went wrong. Huh. Uh oh. I can feel the internal anger in her brain right now. Oh, sorry, in my brain. Sorry. Ah, yes, the palette that Will bought me, the highlight palette by Bretman Rock. There we go. Let's just apply that with this brush. Honestly, you could just use a fan of any sort. Go down to the local store, buy, buy some horse hair or like, you know, I don't know, what, whatever you do. Oh, we'll change your brush now. Don't know what we're doing. Ah, highlighting our nose, of course. How could I forget such an important thing? Highlighting our nose and then we're probably going to highlight our cheeks a little more. Yep, hold it. Maybe the inside of our eyes and there we go. The finished look. As I said in the start of this video, we do like to call this one the make will late every appointment because this actually takes us two hours per time. <sighs> yes, well, I do apologize for making you late to get your car wrapped and we're waving goodbye. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed Will doing my makeup voiceover. Let me know if you're surprised at how much he knew or didn't know. I think I should clarify, at the end there he said it takes me two hours to do that makeup look. This specific look actually only took me 30 minutes because... Ooh, only 30 minutes, I'm still late every time. Alright, well, anyway, Will complains about me making him late to everything. It's not me being late. We go to leave and then Will looks at his dog and then spends 10 minutes playing with the dog before we leave. And then he can't find his socks. Okay, moving on. But uh, let's not talk about the fact that I have a disciplinary at work for being late. Yeah, because you're always late. So as always, let me know what you'd like to see me do next. Leave a like, comment and subscribe. And if you're new around here, turn on notifications so you do not miss another video from me. And I'll see you guys next time. Uh, just before I go, I wanted to mention to you guys that I've been thinking about streaming. I don't know exactly what I want to stream, but I want to leave that up to you guys because obviously you guys are the viewers, you're going to be watching me. Whether that be like gaming or whatever, I was thinking you guys could teach me in the chat how to play Minecraft because obviously I still haven't played that game properly and I have no idea how it works, so that could be quite entertaining. Or any other games if you have any suggestions, I'm happy to play them. I was also thinking that a live mukbang could be cool, um, might be a bit weird live so if that doesn't work out then I'm sure that'll be a video in the future because I want to do that. And yeah, just let me know what you guys want to see me do if I was to live stream. And with that, 
I'm leaving for real this time. Goodbye, thank you for watching my video. Like, comment, subscribe, and turn notifications on. Thank you, goodbye.